lights, camera, action. Okay. You're watching Food is Medicine TV where we help you heal from the root cause. Today we're talking about your three major brain glands that control pretty much your entire experience of life. Now we're talking about the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the pineal gland. These tiny little glands, look at this plate here, are, the hypothalamus is no bigger than the size of an almond, the pineal gland is no bigger than the size of a grain of rice, and your pituitary no bigger than a pea. If you can believe they control your entire experience of life, the hypothalamus is known as the director gland. And what the hypothalamus does is it's responsible for connecting your nervous system with your endocrine system or your hormone system. It's a huge job. And it does that because it controls the pituitary gland, which pretty much secretes all of your hormones. With the adrenaline, it will secrete cortisol. It will also secrete thyroid stimulating hormone and also your sex hormones. So really we have to take care of the hypothalamus to make sure it does the correct job either stimulating the pituitary gland or inhibiting the pituitary gland because in this way the hypothalamus controls hunger, thirst, weight, and even your emotions. Whenever clients came to me and they had a head injury of any sort, concussion, even if it was years back, I always start by working on their hypothalamus. If anybody comes and they have anorexia or bulimia, you have to focus on healing the hypothalamus. It's going to be really important. Your pituitary gland is responsible for producing prolactin, which is really important for nursing mothers if you want to produce milk for breastfeeding. It also produces cortisol, thyroid stimulating hormone. It also gives direction to the testes and the ovaries for that type of hormonal production. And it controls our metabolism and the way at which we grow, whether we're losing weight or gaining weight. So it's a really important gland that we have to focus on if we have any type of mood issues or thyroid imbalances. The brain is first base to healing any hormonal issue. If you want to truly heal from the root cause, it's so much more important to focus on the brain before you go all the way downstream and let's say you go to an endocrinologist and they're just testing your estrogen, your progesterone, your testosterone, you're low in this so take this, you're high in this so lower that, right? That is kind of the downstream end game approach. I like to try to balance the brain first and then let the brain create its own hormonal balance. And then last, we have your pineal gland. No bigger than the size of a grain of rice, it looks like a pine cone, which is where it gets its name. And the pineal gland is very important puberty, when we go through sexual maturation, and it's very important in our circadian rhythm, which is our sleep-wake cycle, because this is the place that melatonin is released. And so melatonin is the most powerful antioxidant in the human body because it's one of the only nutrients that's fat and water-soluble, meaning it can reach every cell in the body. But the body can't hold on to melatonin, which is why when we take it, time released is very important. But the best way to support your pineal gland is to sleep in total darkness because that naturally forces the body to produce the melatonin it needs and make absolutely certain you have no fluoride in your water or in your toothpaste because fluoride calcifies the pineal gland and prevents it from working properly. So I have laid out here for you some things that you can do to support all three of these master glands in your brain. And number one is to take a break from coffee and black tea and switch instead to using green tea because green tea is high in L-theanine. It has to be a high quality, super organic green tea. It's also high in antioxidants and this is probably the number one food or drink that you can take that is gonna decrease brain inflammation, which is really important because it's high in the amino acid L-theanine, which can bind to glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter that can cause inflammation in the brain. So do a swap out here. Healthy fats and oils, the brain prefers to run off of them. They support so much. 
And next, there are studies on chromium percolinate. This is a multi-mineral that supports hypothalamic function. There are studies that prove by taking chromium percolinate at 200 mcgs twice a day with meals that you sensitize your cells enough to insulin that the director, the master gland in your brain, can then work better to control the pituitary gland. This is one supplement that changed my life when I got into nutrition and a lot of people are deficient. Increase your antioxidants either by taking an antioxidant complex of vitamin C or just eating more organic, brightly colored fruits and vegetables. That's something that's gonna help lower the inflammation set point of the whole body, but especially useful for your brain. And then getting your minerals in is gonna be really important for all three glands to help them do their job better. I like to use bioplasma cell salts, they're homeopathic. You can use a reactive multi-minerals, you can increase the sea vegetables in your diet that's gonna be really supportive for everything. And then we wanna support this pineal gland. If you're not producing enough melatonin, a simple saliva test will let you know where your melatonin is. You can start by getting blackout curtains or wearing a sleep mask, but I really like to supplement with melatonin to get people sleeping better right away and then titrate them off. Starting anywhere from one to two milligrams of time-released melatonin about an hour before bed and then you got to knock off the computer, you've got to get rid of the bright lights and you've got to start to wind down and if you need some help doing that we have an entire sleep show that we'll link to below because sleep is so important your human growth hormone is produced by a result of how well you sleep and how much melatonin you're producing, and that will tell you how much you repair. Gut health, which we talk about at the whole journey, so much is inextricably connected to brain health. We know there's a brain-gut-gut-brain axis via the vagus nerve, and so we have to take care of our digestion with getting probiotic foods and high fiber foods in every day. We've got some sauerkraut and kimchi here. You wanna eat. Obviously get your fiber from your veggies as much as you can, from gluten-free whole grains, from legumes that have been soaked. If you can't handle those foods and they're not supportive to your digestive system, you have to heal your digestive system first. In that case, you need to join us in our Gut Thrive and Five Microbiome Rejuvenation Program so that healthy gut foods become healthy for you once again. If you have problems digesting fermented foods, you have gut problems that need to be cleared. So you can see how the body is one systemic organism and we wanna get it working in harmony starting by balancing this beautiful brain inside your head. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Food as Medicine TV.